And now for our special panel on maintaining the wholeness of the community until returning to the synagogues. Shalom to Rabbi Shalom Axelrod, Rabbi of the Young Israel of Wadmer Community. Shalom. Shalom, Yoni. And shalom to Rabbi Yaron Engelmeyer, Chief Rabbi of the Jewish Community in Vienna. Shalom, Yoni. So, first of all, what's the current coronavirus status by you, Rabbi Axelrod? Okay, so uh, essentially, in a very similar way to what's going on in Israel, many of our members, of our community members, over 95% are vaccinated. And because of that reality, it's allowed us pretty much a full return to shul. We still are offering outdoor minyanim or areas within the synagogue that people wear masks or will call mask only versus mask optional. But in terms of all the shiurim, all the in-person, pretty much sitting regularly with the exception of just non-potted, have a space between them. Our Beit Knesset Baruch Hashem is quite full. All our minyanim are up and running and uh, we pretty much are in a regular mode. And by you in Vienna, Rabbi Engelmeyer? Yeah, it took a little while, a little delay uh, if you compare to Israel, but uh, uh, by now the vaccination is going on. It's bringing a very different status and just this week they released some of the rules. Uh, we are now allowed to, uh, to welcome much more people in the synagogues we were all the time inside, but uh, sometimes it was closed or just very uh, little people allowed to come, very few. And uh, by now we can have much more and the revival is going on. So let's go back to the beginning, so to say. Tell us please, Rabbi Axelrod, about the meaning and significance for your community members to have the synagogues closed down. Yes, I would say, you know, one of the unique aspects, I I'm not so familiar with the European model, so we'll leave that for Rabbi Engelmeyer. Uh, but the American model of what the synagogue means to an average community member um, is, is, is very expansive in the sense that the shul is a center of Jewish life in America. Uh, in the Orthodox community, a shul is not just a place that a person attends for minyan, but is rather so much more in the role that it plays with regards to their to the entire mishpacha, whether it's a youth department, whether it's the shiurim, the relationship with the rabbanim. It's a much deeper, I think, relationship that exists between the shul and the community member. And so two things occurred during Corona. One is there was a great level of disconnect from the fact that people could no longer be in shul. Shul is so much a part of a person's life and what shul means for a person and not having that experience on a daily, weekly basis was very jarring for people, especially in the very beginning, especially the fact that it was straight up into the Chagim. In other words, this whole happened straight into Pesach, which is, an up, which is the time that a person is very involved in going, in going to the synagogue. The second thing that I would mention is that because of that relationship that exists between an individual in the community and the shul and what the shul represents, we had to quickly pivot to become an organization of a, almost of a social, spiritual welfare organization in terms of servicing the needs, not only spiritually by pivoting to Zoom Medrash learning or Zoom Davning, so that they could feel that spiritual connection and the relationship with the rabbi that they couldn't, couldn't directly talk to and hear or share from, but via Zoom. Um, and likewise, in terms of all the services from getting and providing them with matzot for the Chag right away to all the different aspects of, 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 of meals, of, of families that were in quarantine. We were, our community was very much impacted by the virus in the beginning. Um, we lost shul members. There were families sitting shiva. There were families in, well, not just tens, hundreds of families in quarantine over the first few weeks. How are they getting their food? How are they picking up their pharmaceutical things? We don't, we didn't have, in Israel, you saw those pictures of B'nai Brak and the Sava came in and they were delivering the food and they were helping the elderly and they were being involved in it. There's no Sava here. So the shul had to, transition 
to provide those services, and Baruch Hashem, we were able to. And how did you experience the synagogue lockdown in Vienna, Rabbi Engelmeyer? Well, I haven't been in Vienna when it uh, began to be closed because we came here just last summer. But it was a special, difficult time for the community because, uh, as Rabbi Axel wrote, pointed out, uh, outside of Israel, the community is the heart of the Jewish life, and uh, especially the synagogue, and everything is going on and connecting. And if this connection can't be physical, so it's very hard to uh, have a bridge and to get pe to people to help everyone and to stay connected. And people love to, to meet and to come back. And in the synagogue, you see how happy people are to come, to join again. And uh, it is uh, really sort of revival and uh, very refresh refreshing feeling for the whole community. So, Rabbi Axelrod, what experiences and stories will you take with you from this year? Yeah, it's, um, you know, there are so many, there are quite a, num there are quite a number of stories. Um, but I think just the, I myself personally hasn't, haven't really had moments to, to reflect. It's been an ongoing effort, uh, nonstop, by all the Rabbanim, I think in all the shuls. Um, so, you know, the, uh, you know, they're those, they're just those images, uh, of, um, unfortunately, you know, communities coming together, um, the, the outdoor minyanim, I mean, the, the being in the, in, in frigid weather, we, we were able to maintain Tfilah B'tzibur three times a day, but throughout the winter, people were dominating out, hundreds of men were dominating outdoors. Um, because they felt comfortable. We were already indoors uh, at, an, at an earlier point, but many, many people did not feel comfortable coming indoors. We had over a hundred shul volunteers step forward to produce a young Noram. We normally see um, close to 2,500 people for, the, for Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. We had over 1,350 this past year in a socially distant way that required 11 different minyanim on three different campuses with six feet spacing. A hundred people had to volunteer to pull that off. That was unbelievable. All the, think about all the, all the safer Torahs that needed to be rolled, all the chazanim, all the people bounding for the Ahmed, all the gabaim. It was unbelievable. So you also feel that there's uh, a lot that we should be taking with us from these days of the pandemic? I think absolutely. I think there are, there are so many. I think if that we were to go path, have go through an experience of COVID and not take lessons from it, all different types of lessons, you know, the personal lessons of, of what reflecting on what family means and what relationships mean, um, to the communal lessons of maybe we don't have to spend expenditures on the smachot of bar mitzvah and bat mitzvah and even weddings they're they're even now still subdued they're they're not as elaborate as they were in the past or just having the fact that by being spaced out at six feet with a mask on people finally during kriyat tatara were looking in a chumash people who never looked in a chumash people who never came to a tefillah b'tzibur for shacharit all those people in their outdoor minyan had to show up in order that there should be a minyan. So they did come earlier. And so there are so many positives uh, that I think need to come out. And hopefully the community will hold on to. And I think it will be a tremendous loss if we don't. Rabbi Engelmeyer, what do you want to learn from these days of COVID? Yeah, first of all, uh, to appreciate what we think it's normal it's normal to meet each other, to get together, to have our family together. And these things uh, didn't, weren't appreciated as much as they are now. And we should uh, really save these feelings and take it with us. Uh, besides that, from the community level, uh, there was a big impact, a big uh, powerful outreach to everyone, to, to get everyone to, to get to know how is everyone feeling, uh, who needs what financial help, social help, psychological help, um, to be together with everyone. They, there was an outreach uh, by Zoom online. We have now um, our Philot also over Facebook and we have Shulim 
uh, online on Zoom and uh, thoughts for Shabbat are sent out by YouTube and so on. Um, and we figure out that much more people are connected on that in that way. And uh, probably we're going to keep that and uh, combine. So we're going to hopefully have all the people back who want to come back and to meet again. But on the other side, also to reach everyone at home. And we have a lot of people sitting anywhere in the country in Austria who are looking for uh, for Shirim, for Jewish learning, for being part, participate. And uh, we learned it through that, uh, through that period that it is possible to reach these people as well. Yeah, today one could come to synagogue, so to speak, with the click of a button in the, the Zoom era. Yeah, it's not the same. And we, we uh, of course, we stress that out and say, whoever can come, it's much better from a logical view, uh, point of view and also physical and the meaningful. But a lot of people can't or they are not able to, they're too far away living. And uh, the combination gives them also connection and uh, uh, identification with a Jewish life in the daily life. So Rabbi Axelrod, is there a feeling that despite everything, you were able to strengthen the connection of the members of the community to the community in this period? I think, in our, at least from my, uh, my personal experience, is that I think because our shul and many other shuls who did the same were there for people during this pandemic in a way that no one ever could have imagined, um, because of that, the relationship is more profound. And people generally feel that their connection got even stronger because of the, first of all, I think it was two things. I think it became, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. So the fact that everyone was away so long and it, it, sat, it felt so long because it was days that stretched into weeks that stretched into months. And then even when we were back, it was just so, you know, so distant and so cold. And so now that people are returning in a normal way, um, you know, even just, like this past week, it was just spontaneous, but like people started to shake hands again. Many people felt comfortable just, you know, coming and, you know, everyone said, you know, we're good with this. And, and, and so I think that the, the, the community is stronger. I think the shuls are gonna be stronger. Obviously there are some challenges, uh, but Mitz Hashem, I, I have confidence hopefully that, uh, that we'll, we will emerge from this even greater than we were before. Rabbi Engelmeyer? Yeah, I pretty much uh, want to join uh, what Rabbi Axelrod said. Um, the relationships became uh, deeper, stronger. Um, the sense and feeling of uh, responsibility for each other is much stronger. And uh, hopefully we'll take that with us. Rabbi Shalom Axelrod, Rabbi of the Young Israel of Woodmere Community, and Rabbi Yaron Engelmeyer, Chief Rabbi of the Jewish Community in Vienna. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yoni. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.